In previous videos, I have demonstrated the use of WebSphere Smash scripting and the pre-built flow activities to extend and integrate applications such as Sugar CRM. Today, I want to show you how easy it is to create customized flow activities that can then be used to build situational applications really quickly. By way of an example, I've created a set of custom activities to interact with Sugar CRM. Here we are in App Builder in the Flow Editor. We can expand out the All Activities tab to see the uh, custom activities that I created. The activities I created are Sugar Create to create a new Sugar object of any type, Sugar Find to uh, find and return all the objects that match a particular search string, Sugar Update to uh, update an existing object uh, identified by its object ID and sugar retrieve uh, to retrieve a particular object by its ID. I'm going to show you first how the activities can be used and then I'm going to explain how they, they were created. Using these activities it is possible to very easily and simply create a large range of situational applications very quickly with minimal programming skills. I'll illustrate this by building the kind of situational application that IT departments are often asked to build at short notice. In this example, we need to enable employees to email uh, notes into Sugar CRM and have them applied as note objects associated with a particular account representation. The subject of the email needs to be matched against the account name and then the contents of the email added to the account as a note. Oh, and it needs to be done this morning. I have set up this flow to be triggered by an incoming email. Let's build a situational application to add the contents of this email to Sugar CRM. I'll start by dragging out a receive mail message activity. Now, we need to find the matching account, so we need a Sugar Find activity. The type of the, uh, the object that we want to find is an account, so we need to set the module to accounts. And the search string is uh, basically just a snippet of uh, SQL, uh, accounts.name, uh, like, uh, and then the, the account name is going to come from the uh, subject of the email, uh, and that we are going to extract from the global context. This syntax here will extract that from the global context. So we now have a sugar find activity, which uh, we will call find account. So this will return uh, an array of uh, accounts that we found that match that search string. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a new object. So we're going to use a sugar create activity for that. Um, now the type of uh, object that we need to create is a, uh, a note. We set the module name to uh, to notes, and then we need to fill in the uh, the data that's going to uh, to go into the note that we're they're going to go going to create. We set the name to a literal string, which is just uh, a note that says that this was a, a an email submitted uh, comment. We set the parent type to accounts. So this tells the note object that the ID that we're going to uh, enter in a moment is uh, an ID uh, which represents uh, an account. This is just the way that Sugar CRM works. And uh, we set the parent ID. Um, and this actually comes uh, from the ID that was retrieved by the find account activity. So we're going to index the, f the first account uh, in the array of accounts that uh, was, uh, was found and we're going to pull the ID out of that. The description, uh, which is actually the, the text for the, for the note, uh, that's going to be the body of the received mail message. So we get that from the received mail message activity. Let's see how this example works in practice.
So here I am in an email client and I'm going to send an email uh, which goes to my situational application. I'm going to fill in the subject line uh, to match a particular account that I, I know I have in Sugar CRM and uh, here's some text that we want to add as a note into that account. I'll send it. So if we switch to Sugar CRM and go to the accounts and then if we search for an account called MMM you should see that we have just one, the MMM Mortuary Corporation and now if we scroll down we will see that there's a new note that's been added by, uh, by, by email by our situation application and if we go into that we can see the text that I emailed in. So hopefully I have illustrated just how easy it is to use custom activities to build situational applications. Let's briefly show how these activities were created. Looking first in the zero.config file, here is the configuration that I used uh, to uh, configure the rest of soap layer um, which on, on top of which I've built the uh, custom activities. I've talked a lot about this rest of soap layer in, in previous videos uh, so I'm not going to go into a lot of details about how it works here. Uh, I have basically built um, a RESTful interface that allows me to uh, search and retrieve, create and update Sugar activities on top of the SOAP interface that Sugar has. Here we have the configuration for the actual custom activities themselves. You can see each activity has a list of attributes and inputs uh, that it takes and this is what the tooling uh, uses to, uh, to build those activities. The only other part of the, uh, of the code that you need are the, um, the actual PHP scripts that I've built uh, which represents the actual code within the activities and here we can see the code within the sugar create um, activity. This is a little snippet of code which retrieves the uh, input data and the attributes uh, and then builds a, um, a RESTful interaction with our rest of soap layer that I just showed. Um, retrieves the response, JSON decodes it and uh, puts that into the uh, global context for use by the uh, next activity uh, in, the, in the flow. The only other thing you need for the custom activities are the icons and you can see that they uh, exist in the tooling, figure activity and icon activity directories and they're just uh, PNG files uh, to provide the icons for the um, uh, palette and also in, in the flow itself. And that's all there is to it. It's worth considering that the custom activities I've built today are actually quite generic and powerful in that they can interact with any type of sugar object. It would be trivially easy to go further and build really specialized activities to, for instance, create, retrieve, update, find specific kinds of sugar uh, objects. I could, for example, build activities which know the interesting properties of, say, the accounts object. And these activities would be even easier to use in a situational um, application. So in summary, I've shown you how easy it is to create uh, custom activities in order to build situational applications uh, really quickly and simply. If you want to know more, go to projectzero.org. Uh, the source uh, for this demonstration is uh, on there, uh, and that's in the cookbook. Uh, there are lots of other videos and examples. You can download the code for, uh, for uh, WebSphere Smash, and you can interact with, with the team. Um, we have forums there. We have blogs, we have our public um, SVM where all our code is, Bugzilla, et cetera, uh, documentation, etc. Thank you for watching.